All right, guys, we're back. It's Sunday morning. We started on this project yesterday, sometime yesterday, midday or something. Decided I wanted a uh, shop press, and I went to Harbor Freight and looked at them. <coughs> and I just personally, I wouldn't give them the money for them and that flimsy thing. So, I come home and uh, I had this tubing or channel iron left over from a, a friend of mine that had on a job left over and had to get rid of it. So anyway, we had all this red iron and uh, commenced to framing yesterday a shop lift, a shop press. And I got, you know, most all the holes drilled. Well, you can see them there. And upper and lower over on this side. We're moving the table up and down. Just got to finish drilling the ones on this side. May do that today, may not, I don't know. And then just run out of argon, so I'm mean, either have to finish it out, stick welding it, or go get a bottle of argon tomorrow, one of the two. See that, we'll decide. But then we come over here, do my hunting truck. This thing has had a uh, something moved every time you put it in gear, pull it forward or back up, you'd feel something in the front end, just a little boom. Man, I've been through this whole side, couldn't find nothing. So, I was thinking it was like a ball joint, to be honest, upper or lower ball joint bad. So anyway, we get in here and get to messing with this thing. And the upper control arm bushings is about shot. So they had a little waller in them and that was the only thing I can find. So anyway, I got new shocks for it, new upper control arm bushings. The ball joints are good, so I didn't have to worry about that. And um, got a press deal here. I got the new ones pressed in that one. The old ones are pressed out They're somewhere up in this junk. But that's the old ones, they shock. They just, but anyway, shocks will slam out. So we got some damn new shocks, some Monroe Maddox. I don't know, they're supposed to be decent. We'll see. But anyway, I got to get this little truck back together and I want to get the press finished. So I don't know which one I'm going to work on, but I need to get my little truck finished. We got a bunch of rain coming and I don't want that little white truck sitting outside. But I, I can raise this right on up and bring the white truck in underneath of it. <coughs> so it's not the end of the world either way, but anyhow. I just wonder what you guys think, what size jack should I put on this thing, you know, uh, pretty stout steel, I mean a 12, 15 ton, 20 ton jack, I don't know, I don't have no clue what would really be a good one, I mean this quarter inch channel, and it's, shoot, 4 inch, 5 inch channel, I'm not sure, uh, make y'all see stick moving the camera around, Five inch, I guess you'd call it. Or maybe I don't know how you measure channel. So it's four and a quarter inside, but it it's heavy. You know, it, it's it's stout. Quarter inch thick stuff. The feet, you know, a little smaller, but that's just the foot. You know, to keep it from tipping over. So I got to build the other piece to go in here to mount the, you know, the jack for the. Uh, shoot the jack to go on and the springs and all that and then a, a press table we got to build and anyway we'll figure it out but I just I just you know I, there I go again I like building junk instead of buying it but I would have bought one but man I, I just can't I have 300 some dollars and that thing looked like I pressed out of a beer can. I said, man, I want more than that. So, anyway, guys, 
let me get back at it and I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. Alright. Alright guys. We're back. I guess the truck won the debate on what I was gonna work on. Oh, what I got air compressor. But anyway, I'm getting ready to bust this A arm out and upper control arm, whatever you want to call it. Take it out and press the bushings out and press the new ones in and see if we can't get this moment back together. Yeah, well, we'll, uh, I say it's got to go once I get it all back together. I'm going to take it over to the lineup shop and get the front end lined up because I'm not even attempting to put it back close. I'm just putting it back. And then they can line it up and do it like it's blown to be. But anyway, I'll check back with y'all in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're back. It's Sunday afternoon now. We got the little truck fin, uh, blue truck finished. Got it out of here. It drove like a champ, so I'm tickled to death with that. Actually, drives almost good as my my wife's new 17 model does. But anyway, this is where I've got on the press. Got the leg. I cut the feet back on 45s. Figured it wouldn't be maybe not as bad of a toe stubber. But anyway, that's what we got. Beveled the corners up here. On, cut them back on the 45, rounded them off. I still got to finish welding it. But uh, there's where we're at. We got all the holes drilled for the table and the stuff to go in on both sides. That was a time consuming affair getting them all lined up just right and drilling them out but anyway we got that done and uh, now I've got to build a, a table to mount solid for the you know whatever you're pressing on and then a rig for the hydraulic jack and springs to hook on but I guess we'll do that tomorrow we're done about done for the day I I've got to run much done anyway by myself. I got the whole front end put back together on the S10. Got the white S10 back in the shop. And got all the holes finished drilling on this rig. We're getting there though, man. Right, you know, slowly but surely. That's the one thing I've always wanted to press, you know, but I for what them things cost. You know, at Harbor Freight or wherever. They just seem cheap to me. I mean, you got a daggone 12, 15, 20 ton jack, whatever, pressing on something. I want it to be pretty solid. So, anyway, that's, that's just my thoughts. I'd rather build it and buy it anyway, so I had the stuff, might as well do it. So all I got to do is just go get a jack. And some big springs, I guess probably tractor supply had some springs, I don't know. We'll find them somewhere. But anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'll, I'll probably go ahead and load this one up, upload this one, and uh, start another one out finishing this thing out. Alright guys, we'll see y'all later.